All right, a growing number of colleges and universities are offering teams to play what's called eSports. <laughs> <laughs> now some doctors are calling for gamers to be treated like other college athletes because just like other sports, they too can suffer injuries. <laughs> Stop. Tom Hansen has more. Ryan Heron and Daniel Singh have taken their love for video games to the collegiate level. At the New York Institute of Technology, they play varsity esports for the Cy Bears. Some days I won't play at all just because of school and work, but when I do play, it could be from anywhere from like three hours to like six hours. And they say like other sports, that practice takes a toll. It is pretty mentally draining. You just definitely eye strain. Uh, from just, you know, looking so hard. New research in the British Journal of Medicine looked at 65 college eSport athletes and found they played about five and a half to 10 hours a day with many reporting overuse injuries, including hand, wrist, neck, and back pain. <laughs> Poor posture can produce exponential forces on your neck, back, shoulder. Eye fatigue is the most commonly reported complaint from these pixelated images that you see when you're playing on a computer. They're making 500 action moves per minute. So there's a lot of high speed thinking and I think that fatigues the eyes even further. Study author Dr. Hallie Zweibel says players also report insomnia because the blue light from screens can suppress the sleep hormone melatonin. So far, more than 80 colleges and universities in the U.S. have varsity eSport teams. Researchers stress schools need to provide prevention and treatment plans for injuries, just as they do with traditional athletes. Nutritional exercise regimen, stretches, especially stretches of the eyes to prevent eye fatigue during gameplay. Daniel says he keeps all of that in mind to be his best on game day. You try to be more aware of your posture, try to roll your shoulders back, keep a straight back. He also tries to work some exercise into his week so wait, when he's through, offline. Like, <laughs> be nice. Uh, what? <laughs> okay. All right. All right, and it's not just esports athletes. We should be careful. Uh, the doctor says even if you don't game competitively, you can still suffer esports injuries. Stop. <laughs> eye strains and eye fatigue. These are legitimate concerns. He also says don't forget about physical activity as well. That's what I said. You want to make sure to balance it out. Get outside yeah. a little bit. Yeah.